Do you want to be able to take card details at the point of booking to discourage no-shows? Res Diary uses Stripe to securely store card details and charge cards when your no-show policy is broken. This tutorial will show you how to set up card tokenization. Before you start this tutorial, it's important to make sure your payments are secure. If you will take bookings through your business website, you need to make sure it has a valid SSL certificate so that you can protect your customer's card details. If you do, it will read HTTPS in the address bar. If not, there are full details on how to obtain an SSL certificate in the video descriptor. If you're taking bookings through a booking button to resdiary.com, you're already secure. You also need to make sure you have a Stripe account connected to your diary. There are full details on how to do this in a separate film that is linked in the video descriptor. There are two ways of setting up tokenization. Master setting means that tokenization is always on in the background, regardless of time, date or day. From your diary, go to settings and from the payment section, click payment settings. From the drop down, select credit card and click add new. This takes you to the master settings for credit cards, aka Stripe tokenization. Here you can select what size of parties this will apply to. If you toggle on the following two sections, this number will be ignored. The following two allow discretion for VIP customers and internal bookings. Bear in mind that this will apply tokenization to all bookings. If you only want it to apply to certain situations, you may want to use the next method. You can also apply tokenization to one-off events or specific scenarios like large parties at weekends. To do this, you will have to set up promotions for these times. There are full details on how to do this in the Creating a Basic Promotion film, linked in the video descriptor. One of the options when setting up promotions is Credit Card Required in the Info tab. Make sure to select Yes from the drop-down menu when you want to take customer details on a specific promotion. You have now set up tokenization. If you do plan to charge customer cards for no-shows, you must notify your customer prior to booking. You can do this by including information about this in your terms and conditions, which can be displayed on your booking widget, microsite and confirmation email. To set this up, from your diary, click Settings. In the Reservation section, click Terms and Conditions. To add terms and conditions to your widget, click Edit on the widget section and add it in your terms. To add terms and conditions to your emails, Create a ticket with the terms and conditions you would like to add to your confirmation email and our support team will update. Now that these card details are stored within Stripe, that means that you or any members of staff can't access them. However, you will want to control who has access to charge cards, big deposits and other payment related tasks. To set this up, from your diary go to settings, under diary select user management and users. Review the privileges that users in your diary have by clicking on Setup next to each username. To charge a card, from your diary find the no-show you want to charge. Click to bring up the menu and click on the Edit Booking icon to bring up the booking interface. Click Payments and then Charge Card. Enter the amount and the description before clicking the Charge button. You can now save the booking and cancel. You can now cancel the booking with the cancel icon and mark the reason as no-show, card charged. If the no-show has already been cancelled, you can still charge the card. From the diary, open the cancellation list, find the booking that you want to charge and from the actions column, click receipt. This will open the booking window and, as before, click payments and then charge card. If you're having any issues or have any questions, you can find more information about tokenization on the knowledge base or get support anytime by raising a ticket.